Hey my dogs, it's JDog Gaming here. Today we're going to be doing a visual novel. It's a little bit different. It's called Tyrana, and pretty much it's like an anime uh, visual novel video game. So let's get into it. The world. Also, before I get into it, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to become part of the dog pack. All right, let's get into it now. The world is a dark place. Cities were burning. Children were crying. War is never ending. Life is fading away. The world is dying. Dun, dun, dun. So where am I now? Edo, the sky was gray. It was still a beautiful day here inside the comfort of dominance. The country where I now live, one of the few independent states in the world not participating in the great war. The war between the United Republic and Terrana. The world where I live is a world ravaged by crime and terrorism. Alright, also, if you want uh, me to continue this game after this first episode, make sure to comment down below to have more of this series. And yeah, so... Uh, Alright. Every day, hundred. Hundred? Hundreds of people are murdered in almost every country. Do, 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 do. Crime scene, do not cry. Is this like a war, I guess? While the other go while the other governments does little about it, war was a priority to them. Here in Dominance? I think it's Dominance, but I'm not sure. There were only there were only about 50 murder per day, which is quite good compared to the rest of the world. <laughs> wow! The world where I live is a world covered in darkness. But to me, it was a beautiful day even if the sky was gray. I was waiting like usual for her. Oh snap! Something's about to go down. This is interesting. It was early in the morning. Mr. Smith, my guardian, was working downstairs in the workshop. Here's our first character here. Interesting. And then there's the girl. Enjura? Oh. Hello, Mr. Smith. Oh, hello there, Miss. Ajura? Is Edo in his room, sir? Yes, Miss. And en Enjura, he is still repairing your electric piano. He should almost be done. Why don't you go upstairs to see your boyfriend? Ah, uh, hee hee. Yes. Thank you, sir. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I wasn't even noticing that the character was, like, moving their, uh, like, the eyes and stuff. I didn't even see that. When I heard her footsteps approaching, my heart started to beat fast. I was happy. Finally, she's here. Hi there! Wait, that that's not the girl. Hi there, Enadril. Glad to see you again. You too, Arthur. Meow. Hi, Eddie. So, Enadril, did you take the main street like I told you to? Of course I did! This is like the tenth time. You've asked me the same question in a week. Of course, Enadril. You're never too sure about security these days. I'm just worried about you, that's all. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Not again. Dun, dun, dun. So, um, um, may I come in? No. <laughs> that face though. <too. laughs> Just kidding. You can come in. I, idiot. <laughs> that face though. That face though. Uh, so we get to see the character that I've been doing. That's right. Not doing. That that's weird. Don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. We decided to spend. We decided to spend time together talking about talking and doing silly stuff. Although I suppose to work on her piano. We just wanted to have fun together. Even our pets were having fun in their own way. A strange relationship indeed. A cat and a robot. Author and Yobot. There's the cat. Meow. Arthur first belonged to my uncle, who disappeared a long time ago with my older brother, William. Since I wasn't good with real animals, I gave the cat to Indra. 
Yobot, my current pet, is a robot. My brother and I worked hard together to build him. We promised each other to bring him to life together as a team. On the day William left the house, Yobot was completed as his last promise to me. Before Yobot didn't have a name, I addressed him by saying, Yo! <laughs> it was in general's idea to combine the word Yo and Robot together to form Yobot. What a horrible name! <laughs> wow! Oh gosh, still better than just Yo, however. Besides, it was her idea. <laughs> I guess Yobot is sort of like a memento. To this day, I still wonder if my uncle and my brother are still alive somewhere in this world. I was left alone on my own, so Mr. Smith, who was a good friend, with my uncle became my guardian. He was nice to me, and even, and even wanted to pay for my studies at school, but my uncle insisted that I took care of the workshop he and Mr. Smith started together. I couldn't accept that offer, besides, Mr. Smith was very poor, and his family got killed while he was out of war. He then moved to Dominance, where he met my uncle, who also left his country, fearing to be executed. Together, the two men worked hard to make this workshop where they repair stuff for people. My family adopted me and Tyra. We were, we were rich there, but unhappy. After all, my uncle hated the monarchy. Even if we had all lived without luxury, I'm still happy because I met her now. We spent the rest of the day for, forging more precious, precious memories together, memories to be remembered. I don't know why he has such a deep voice. I don't know why I made him have a really deep voice, but I did, so deal with it. I was fixing her electric piano while she was talking to me. Everything was normal until I noticed something that I'd felt from the piano. What is that? I wonder. I wonder what it is. Andrew, this strange bracelet fell from your piano. Do you know what it is? Huh? I never saw this before. Did my parents hide this? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they hide this inside an electric piano? Well, it must be something really important then. I don't think it's from Dominance. Could it be from the outside world? No way! The outside world is busy at war. No way they would have time to make something like this. Maybe it was made before the Great War even started. To think that once before the world was in peace. I wish it could still be true today. Ah, someone is calling me. Hold on a second, Eddie. It was probably her guardians judging from her facial expression. I guess since their real daughter died, they haven't been be, been nice at all with Indra. Poor her. Poor her. It's my parents. It's, it's my parents. I need to go home. I guess I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, well. Okay, then. Oh, my goodness. Be before her departure, we both proceeded with the little ritual so much like to do every time we left. Both of us took our magnetic necklaces, which formed a heart if it's similar to go. And they say they're not dating. I feel like that's a lie. You don't just give a magnetic heart to anyone, okay? We then assembled our heart pieces together and swear to keep our promises for an eternity. Yeah. If, you, if they're not in love, I don't know what it is. Because that's a really bad friendship if, if it is. Eddie, this year, I want to go see the butterflies in the rose field. Sure. Anything you'd want. Damn. That was really awesome. Alright. I hope you dogs enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And... Peace out, my dog pack. Bye. I will make a second episode to continue the story. And yeah. Bye.